like the Tim Hardaway joint, like the hate, bro, it, it really got to end because we already understand that there's nothing Timmy could do that's really going to satisfy these Knicks fans or most of these Knicks fans. Like last year, the Knicks were winning, and it wasn't until he really got hurt that then the Knicks started losing again. So you don't appreciate what this guy actually brings to the table. And so you can say he had tonight's game is all about a tell of two halves in his preseason. Yes, he had a great is. first yeah. half, didn't really have a great great second half. Y'all can cut me off whenever y'all want. But yeah, it's just yeah. like, yo, it's like, damn, man. Like, I already know it's nothing Tim Hardaway Jr. is going to do that's going to satisfy you Knicks fans. And, like, yo, he can't work out nothing. There's other things that we should be worried about. And, 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 like, I love the young team. I love – I got faith in this team. Like, I see I see younger versions of potential guys that we either be able to trade, package, or actually yeah. keep on the team. And, Bill, we got a nice – we got a nice nucleus of, 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 of different talent. And, and I just feel like we don't need to waste it on going after Durant, going after any free agents right now. Just let these, let these young guys grow. Mm-hmm. And then after yeah. this year, midway, when KP get back, then we just see what's going on because we don't we don't have to just throw like we never had this. It's been a long time where the Knicks actually did it right in the draft where not only did they hit on the first two on their first two draft picks, but they got somebody undrafted that's going to be a potential star on the team. So it's just like right now we should just be we should yeah. just be we should just be just just sitting back. Watching the games, enjoying. Like we don't really gotta get too high. We don't got like I know Tim Hardaway shoot some bad shots, but if 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 Kevin Knox is shooting like he's shooting tonight, or not like he's been shooting, or if we don't got no other scores out there, shit, who else gonna put him up? And, it's, and that's it's, what it's, I said. That's what I said to crazy. Carlito. I said, you know, flaws and all, we still need a scoring out there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we need a score. At the same time, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing to want to see Timmy be a more consistent player. I think yeah. people see, I think people are so um, um, negative on him because they see the potential in him if he could just be more consistent. Yeah, yeah. But, but here's where it's dangerous. Mm-hmm. It's dangerous when you don't have nobody to replace him with. You're talking about, yes. you don't like him, but who you who you seriously yeah, want to replace him with? Yeah, we don't have no other options. Like, right. Like, yeah, I'm just talking about across the league. Like, really, who can you really go after where you don't got to give up too much or unless you're just going to be building through the draft? I don't I don't see. I just think we should just enjoy what we got right now and just take what – and just and just and just go with it because Mitchell Robinson didn't even play tonight. Yeah. And, we, and, we, and, we, and we stepped up, and that's a big piece. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go ahead, JLs. No, nah, I mean – I mean, like, I, I kind of, I'm taking the CP stance, man, like, um, because I, like, I'm, I'm not as harsh on Tim Hardaway Jr., even though I do have my jokes, because I, like, I just like the joke, <laughs> but um, I do also acknowledge when he's taking a step in the right direction, he had a pretty decent all-around game, but I'm, I'm still with, kind of with Carlito, too, where I do want to see some kind of improvement in here, but, um, when he when he's gone when he's on he is really on. Yeah, when he's on he's on. There's no doubt about it. When he's on we, he's on. We still need to real. We still need to reel him in. Nah, wait. To me, in my opinion, we need to, we need to I feel him you. In. I feel. Mm. He's but not yeah, that, finished product yet. It's just like right now, we're gonna see. We should have never got. And I'm and I'm from this perspective where we should have never got rid of him because we replaced him with Alexis Fed and Sasha Buiji. Like when he was first here, he was a young, he was a young rook, and he was sitting behind J.R. Smith and Iman Shumpert. Like he got his points, like he was actually developing. So it wasn't a surprise that when he went to Atlanta and really was really getting opportunity, he stepped up. He got his 17 million and still improved on his numbers when he left Atlanta. So it yeah. just goes to show yeah. me that nobody's ever going to be satisfied with what he does. Yeah. It's never going to be good enough. And that's dangerous because that's what Carmelo got into. It was never going to be good enough no matter what he did, even though Carmelo didn't have no help, even though Amari Stoudemire was always hurt, even though, like, the teams they really couldn't build around. Yeah. Carmelo took all the fucking sh- all the shots, man, and we can't keep going on with this cycle because who can really evolve? It hey. trickles down to Frank Milikina where the pressure is building up. It's like we got to. As Nick fans, conscious, subconsciously, yo, we got to get out of that mentality that that the, that that – that we like, we can't be satisfied unless we got this star, this star player. This dude talk about Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell get here two minutes later. He's he shoot too many freaking shots, or or he's not playing with the team. Like nobody, you, you got to be, you got to want this shit. 
We got like that's why okay. I love Enos Cannon. You gotta want this. All right, I, I hear you. I hear you, man. We'll definitely appreciate the call, man. Um, we we gonna I, move to the next. Yeah, call. No, yeah, 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 my fault, my time. fault, guys. I ain't trying to take over, but I just want to say appreciate y'all. Keep yeah. doing your thing. Appreciate Keep doing it. your thing. Keep doing it. All right, thanks yeah, a no lot. No problem, man. bro. Thanks a lot, bro. Thank, thanks for the call, man. I mean, listen, he had, he had a fair he had a fair take. He, you know what I'm yeah. saying? There's a lot of people in the chat that agree with him. A lot of people in the chat that don't agree with him. Troy Flett says Timmy's an inefficient chucker. Uh, Michael Parker said the only thing that Timmy can do to satisfy the expanse is to volunteer to give up his starting job yeah. to Trier. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, young, yeah. Young Timba, yeah, uh, Young Timba says Timmy's middle name is Chuck. <laughs> See, I would, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go that far to say that Trier yeah. needs to take his spot because Trier just got here and we don't know. What he can do, given a full body of work, we just see it in the yeah. in, in tuning in. But we had an interesting dialogue with a couple of fans uh, on the Timmy dynamic, and I think I think a lot of people brought some some good points. You know, I, um, people are frustrated with Timmy, and like I said earlier, I think people believe in the potential of Timmy if he could just become a more consistent player. And then at the same time, you know, you had other people call in and say, well. Timmy, because Timmy's in a position where he has to be relied on to score, his flaws are more evident. Whereas when he was on an Atlanta team, when he wasn't the first option, where he was coming off the bench, he was way more effective and his flaws were, he, he, he was kind of able to hide his flaws. You know what I mean? On this team, where we're so devoid of talent, his flaws become more exposed and you're, you're expecting more, of him, especially the contract that you gave him. Yeah, it is a contract, as as my my homegirl Kat K Steele would say. <laughs> Timmy owes us money. That's that's what she always says. Right. 